camera folks this is a quick video a lot of people ask me what camera I'm using now and I've kind of covered it in uh, in the middle of some uh, some actual videos but I'm gonna just give you a quick overview of the camera I'm using and the best setup that's, that works for me and this is this is a run and gun setup for basically on the go on the go um, you know for making travel videos and, and this setup is it's kind of what I've settled on most of my videos are shot on this so let's just go through it this is the DJI Osmo pocket it's about a $350 camera most of the time I'm shooting 4k and 60 frames on this guy and it is just excellent quality video it's it's stabilized because you, you it's basically a camera and a gimbal uh, put together but let me run down my rig how I use it okay on the camera I've got the uh, the track wheel mounted and this is the expansion kit all the links are going to be down in the description obviously for this this whole setup the uh, the affiliate links but this is part of the expansion kit the track wheel and what this does if you're not familiar with it it just gives you a couple extra buttons so instead of having to click this one three times you click it one and it turns around and then you click the left button and it'll go from first person view to follow mode to tilt lock and and these these are excellent so you don't have to try to uh, go into the screen and then this button here will pan up down or you can click that and it'll pan left right so this right here for on the go is I say a necessity I mean I've been using this for months without this but this is gonna make things much easier on me so I highly recommend you, you get the, uh, the track wheel and then this little bracket and I can't remember the company makes it but it's a metal bracket and you just unscrew this and the, it, it'll come right out but the reason I like this bracket is for several reasons number one it doesn't interfere with the track wheel you can snap on the wireless adapter to the bottom and it also has an extra uh, threaded hole up here which I attach the strap to. So I've got this strap attached to the top. And if we move right now along, this is a hand grip by ReadyCam. And it's just got a just got a good rubber grip to it. And most of the time when I'm running a gun and I just use this right here. And I keep this bottom tripod. This is a little uh, tripod. What do they call it? The Pixie Mental Pixie. It's by Manfrotto. Obviously the link's down in the description. But what I like about this guy is you just push this button and you can actually do it one-handed. So you push that button and wherever this tripod goes, it's gonna stay. But I usually keep the tripod in my, in my satchel until I'm sitting down somewhere. The straps from Black, uh, what's it called? Black Rapid. Yeah, black wrapper, and, and it's just a, uh, it's just a simple strap. It's, I mean, you can put any strap you want to. This is just the one that I ended up with, and it goes right there. So when I sling this, instead of it hanging upside down, it's kind of hanging up like this. That's my setup right there for the running gun, and. I don't always, I mean, I just got these two pieces of gear, so I'm not even going to keep this on there, but if you want to, you know, you can sit there and now you can set this over here and you can be over here with your cell phone controlling it. But I just wanted to demonstrate that with this bracket, it will, it will connect, this will connect, and with my other brackets, they interfere with the add-on accessories. This little bracket, it does not. It's got a piece of rubber in there, and so once you tighten it down, this thing, this thing ain't going nowhere. I've already been using it for months. All right, folks. So there you go. That's a look at my my run and gun rig for the DJI Osmo Pocket, and I really love this little camera. As with any camera, 
of this size, like a cell phone, the audio is not stellar. I have the, the external audio jack, but what I'm discovering is that when I am doing walking tours, I'm holding this thing basically about a foot, foot and a half from my mouth, and I'm using it like this, and I'm basically talking into the microphone. And the microphone is just to the right of that green light, and there's one on the bottom. So let, let me back up. When, when you are running and gunning, you don't want to have this attached because the second microphone is under there. So there we go. So that's really what it looks like. But if I, if I sit down somewhere and I want to control it, then I, I have that little wireless expansion uh, accessory and you can, you can pop it on there and it fits. But I'm basically just walking, doing my doing my walking tours, holding this right here in front of my face and using it. And basically, it's like you're talking into a microphone. But if I want to add an external mic, there's no problem. It'll obviously fit on the bottom. But I think this is this is pretty much this is pretty much the way I'm using it right there. That's my setup. And to add all these extra accessories, what are we looking at? I, you're gonna add what another another 150 bucks or so. Anyhow, check out the links down in the description. There's also a link to the blog post with the table just showing all this. There you go, folks. That's what I use. That's what I use to make most of my YouTube videos, and I shoot 4K 60 frames per second. Super smooth, stabilized footage, and this little battery lasts. Oh, about an hour 20 minutes I've never had a problem with the battery going dead but you know I carry a battery bank and there you go hope this helps and thanks for joining me on this little quick tech video for all my normal subscribers thanks for being a subscriber and if you're not a subscriber bottom right hand corner of your screen click that overstay road sign and you can get on board my train Hope you have a great day wherever you're at in the world.